So we feature a lot of Ford Barras here on Full Boost and arguably, I'd have to say, the crowd favourite is the FG F6. This one's a cracker. Full eight second street car. It's a bit of a uh, wolf in sheep's clothing, isn't it, Ant? I know these cars are quick with minimal mods, but even to run that speed, like, there's not as much done to it as a lot of people might Think, believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. Yeah, no, it's, we spent a bit of money on this one and time and a lot of R&D, especially Jordan. Jordan, yep. uh, Greasy Performance tunes yep. it, built it the whole lot. He's gone above and beyond on this one too, just to get it right. Faultless two eight second passes in a row. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I went 892 and 893 at like almost 160 mile an hour. And the cool thing about this, look, it's, it's got a built six-speed gearbox. Yeah, ZF, yeah. And you've got stock axles in it still. Standard axles. That's the thing that freaks me out. Yeah, it's got a diff hat upgrade. Now, I, I've never actually looked into this. Are the, do the F6 have upgraded shafts over a... No. No, they're all it's the all, same. It's all the same. All the same. Yep, these are Wednesdays, I call them. <laughs> you got a Wednesday <laughs> special. You didn't get the Friday afternoon build, did you? Well, the thing is, in February, I raced it at yeah. Eastgate last year. I went 9-2. The second run, I broke a Repco shaft. I put the stock ones back in. I'm like, whatever. And I persisted with the stock ones. And, so um, you've had spare ones at the track, thinking they might break? Yeah, and they were Repcos. Yeah. And the, the, st the stock ones did better. The thing about the Barra now, it's been out for, geez, 20, over 20 years. Since yeah. it, well, sorry. 22 years. Sorry, I, I changed that. It's not in production, but it first came out over 20 years ago. So that's a lot of time in terms of what people are doing to them. And it, it's a fairly proven concept, and you know what you're going to get when you do certain mods in terms of power. But it's one thing to make power than to actually get the car to work. Yeah. So this is basically, run us through, you've got a built, is it still a four litre? Four litre, yep. yep. So four litre, Gretschy performance motor, 1,000 horsepower motor, stock crank, um, cams, billet cams, drop-ins, VCTs. So a lot of guys with Barras do these ghost cams, but that's a bit of a, yeah, you know. That's a young man's game, but us older guys, we like real cam shafts. Real cams, Real yeah. cams. So these ones are drop-ins, like you said, but you've still got the factory, you're using the factory Ford VCT. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah, they yeah. yeah. full bill of drop-ins. Um, fuel economy's not the best, but yeah. uh, I love the sound. Um, so. you, don't, you don't buy these cars for fuel economy, Yeah, that's right, yeah. It's firing block, that helps a lot. Uh, believe it or not, still got ARP 2000 studs in it. Uh, oversized washers, it's been good with over 40 pounds of boost. So the G42, 1450 on it as well. I've been lucky enough to go in a lot of barrows and that is a very well sorted turbo on these cars, isn't it? Yeah, it comes on nice, yeah. Killer top end, but you know, it's gone to the days of having a, a laggy car as a compromise. The, because you've got a big four litre engine, it spools it pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, it comes yeah. on pretty quick. Um, very quick, actually. So you full boost before, well before. 5,000 RPM. You convert a lox and it just, uh, yeah, goes harder again. And it made um, 770 on Jordan's roller dyno. Yeah, so yeah. it's. Um, That's a lot of power on a roller dyno. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot, yeah, yeah. And it showed at the track, so it's it's done its job. When I filmed you last, I think you ran 906. And then yeah. I thought, oh, we'll get the 8 here tonight. And yeah, uh, didn't come. Walked down to the start line and old mate there's oiled the whole track. <laughs> yeah. Night over. It's always. Spewing, yeah. The conditions were perfect. So you went back the next day and ran. On a Sunday, yeah. A Sunday. And went uh, 9 0, uh, sorry, went um, 8 9. Straight up. 8 93, uh, straight yeah. up, yeah. At 159. Yep. And then had a, gave it a rest for half an hour an hour and went 8 92 at 159 something, almost 160 mile an hour. So the shafts were the same for that whole weekend. Standard, they're still in it, yeah. So the gearbox, that's obviously. That's uh, RVO's stage five boxes. I think it's got a uh, billet input shaft, billet intermediate, but it's got standard planetary forward yeah. gear. Uh, we changed that recently, uh, just for a health check more or less. For those that don't know too much about the ZFs, the fourth gear when they're stock is usually a bit of a problem, isn't it? Once you start cracking yeah. some power into That's them. right. We put the power glide clutches in it, third yeah. to fourth, and that's helped it a lot. And we don't have much torque reduction as well in it. So yeah, okay. Yeah, just, it's so been, at the track, you run it with the lock up off? Off, yeah. yeah. yeah off. They tend to make more torque, I think. Oh, everywhere, yeah. yeah it everywhere. just comes on boost straight away yeah. and it does everything it needs to do. You know, it's been a good car. It's been built for three years now and it's still, the motor hasn't come out yet. Um, fingers crossed. It's done about close to 20,000 Ks now, man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's done well. now that you've got your eight and like you, we said off camera, you don't want to wreck this car. It's a beautiful car. You don't no. want to put a roll cage in it. And... 
So getting back to the Fords, you're not really a Ford guy per se, are you? So when I met you, you were into Skylines. Yeah. You yeah, yeah. obviously like the fast Turbo like 6 stuff? Turbo 6, yeah. 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 It's always liked it. And I like this platform too, so yeah. I've been with it for a very long time, more than well, 12 years now. Yeah. Had 33 GDRs and GDSTs and even had a 35 at one stage for a short period of time, but it wasn't my cup of tea. But I, I ended up going back to this. and um, oh, You had a white one. white one that ran 9.9 with a T3 oh. Turbo. Uh, that was 2016, I think. Yeah. And then I ended up uh, buying this one after. I wasn't. I was going to keep. Oh, this standard. was the one you were, were going to. Yeah. <laughs> you said to me, "I've had my fun with cars. I'm keeping this dead stock." And yeah. now it's turned out to be your fastest one. Yeah. Once you start, you kind of can't stop, you know. But uh, we've stopped now, which is good. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're, we're very happy with what it's done. And leave it alone. Fantastic results. Yeah. I think from here, I mean, yeah, you, you might be able to get an eight, 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 seven out of it, maybe. But like, oh, it's definitely in it. I mean, when we raced yeah. it, it was. 27 degrees, yeah, it's quite it warm. We're quite sure it'll do an 8-8 eight, eight easy, but um, for yeah, another 10th, I don't want to... Where, where do you stop here? Like... Where do you stop here. She's got all the pigeon noises, mate. Not too loud, is it? No, it's pretty no, quiet, quiet, man, yeah. So what did you do to this initially? Like, tell us, did you run it with some bolt-ons? Like, tell us how your times progressed, um, I guess. Versus when I first got it, well, I was going to keep it pretty factory. <laughs> Basically, put on E85 uh, with a single pump. Had a uh, stage one cooler at the time, just the bolt in, stock exhaust, and uh, on street tires went 11.1. Wow, that was pretty good. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. And that's sort of where they're they're quite good bang for buck. Oh, they're reliable. Yeah, reliable, that was, and that's yeah. that's a quick street car. That was making 390 kilowatts on yeah. um, 18 pounds yeah. stock turbocharger as well. It was pretty good. And then obviously you wanted a bit more, as you do. And then um, stock motor ended up uh, building the transmission uh, through RVO again, um, stage two auto back then. Is that because it was tired or? No, I just wanted to freshen yeah. it up, I think. Um, that's I about, to that's put sort of about at the limit, isn't it? About 400? 400, you'll do it all day, every day. Yeah. You can do more now because obviously you can tune them better as well. Yes. Yeah, I ended up uh, putting just all bolt-ons and I had a GDW low mount turbo, I think you, I uh, got a video of it from a couple of years ago. I was making about 490, 500 kilowatts and um, ran 10.3 at like 137 mile an hour. And that was good bang for buck. And obviously yeah, we couldn't stop there. So we wanted to run another nine and yeah. you know, do the th same thing we did with the white car. So how fast did the white car go? I went 993 at 144 with a low mount with a, with a GDW as well. And then it progressed to a built car. Jordan built it and then we just kept going and going and going. And uh, we ended up getting a 950 when we first built it three years ago. Mm. We're quite happy there. Had you redone the auto again at that point? Uh, yeah, I've done it uh, a lot stronger this time. Yeah. It was a stage five auto. With... I still had a uh, single plate converter in it at the time. It was only a three grand stall. I think it was a Dominator at the time. We done a 950 at 147 a couple of times. It was, it was good. I actually ended up selling the car for, um, for a little while uh, to a friend. Long story short, uh, it came up for sale again. And You're we, lucky. Um, very lucky. You don't get a second chance, mate. Mm. So I thought, yeah, we'd, uh, let's go a bit harder this time. Got everything checked over once I got the car back. Yeah, just progressed and ran a 9.2 and well, 9.3 and all that stuff. A great way you can support Full Boost is to purchase some of our merch. We've got many different styles on offer, so what are you waiting for? Grab one today at shop.fullboost.com.au. And this has got Shockworks. Shockworks coilovers, yeah, yeah, they've been really good. All I do to set it for drags is play with the um, spring heights essentially, and that's it. Yeah, we've got Shockworks in a few of our cars. Great gear. Great team down there. I've seen them in more and more late model Ford and Holdens. The only thing we pretty much do to race it was is basically raise it, put the drag wheels on it, uh, and tickle the tune, and yeah. that's it. And obviously we pulled the headlight out, a bit of a weight reduction, but uh, it's okay. Hey, when you're so close to a big milestone like that, you you sort of do anything. To get yeah, it like that's that. it. Well, we uh, we learnt a lot from the um, when we were in the night three nine O's on that Friday night. We thought we'd take the headlight out, gave us a bit more boost, and. Jordan tickled the tune up a little bit more, and um, we ended up uh, running, uh, yeah, almost 106 next for a five mile an hour. Um, yeah, and ran eight twice, so it was good. Yeah, it was real fun. So that's it for you. So I yeah, I, I don't blame you. You got your, you got your eight, and yeah, what, what more do you want? So is this a car you're going to keep for a while? I'll keep it for a while. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. 
I take the kids to school in it too. I drive like a normal car. I notice there's a baby seat in the back. So yeah, there is, yeah. yeah. I'd have to say, Ant, if you sell the car, there's probably, you're probably, more than likely, you ain't getting a third shot at it. No, no, no. That's why we, uh, we'll, we'll keep it this time, but um, we'll see how we go. But it's good fun. But, you know, just now we're just basically going you know, to keep it clean, cruise it. Yeah. I've turned it down a little bit since we raced it. Uh, that's how we want to keep it. You know, nice, treatable car. Yeah, usable. Well, thanks for showing us the car. Thank you very much.